Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Study with me, myself Upasuna Pandey from Lilithan Sirkar Medical College and Hospital. It's 8:30 a.m. Wish you all a very good morning. Wait, wait, my to-do list is being sorted. My green tea is ready. Around 9 a.m. I am ready to begin. My goal is simple for the day. General pharmacology, cell injury from pathology and parasitology revise. Oh ho, there is an anatomy class tomorrow. We also need discussion for that. I started with a video of adverse drug effects. Covin such lecture beautifully explained. Then I moved to another video. Plasma protein binding. All rule of D. Duration of action, distribution, displacement, dialysis. Yeah, the important points. In the meantime, I brought my breakfast. Yeah, I was damn hungry. I started reading along with enjoying my food. I began with pharmacodynamics. What the drug does to the body? At this point, I am going through the transducer mechanism. I am going on a weekly plan to correct the syllabus. My goals for this week was to complete general pharmacology, obviously from pharmacology, and revise thoroughly. Today is the day of compact revision. Most of the topics of pharmacology are to relate with physiology and to apply the drugs to treat the pathological conditions. The core of pharmacology are definitely the general part and the autonomic nervous system. So, our first duty is obviously to clear the concepts of these two units. Referring the diagrams, tables and graphs are of utmost importance for any topic. These terms help build the concept and relate theory with practical which is absolutely important for us to grasp any topic. I try to go through every word enjoying the beautiful concepts. I try to analyze all the mathematical derivations used to describe the various relations. The dose response curves are beautifully illustrated, describing efficacy and potency. At this point, I am going through the comparison of various drugs based on efficacy and potency. Again, the graphs are beautifully correlated. Therapeutic efficacy drug selectivity effective dose lethal dose with this I am almost at the verge of completion of the chapter. What's remaining is the synergism and the drug antagonism. These are the basics of enzymatic reactions correlated with a few drugs. I am really feeling sleepy. So I added some motion to my procedure. Kuch nahi dost bas ghum ghum ke par rahi hu. I am done with the chapter. It's raining outside. Let's have some fun there. Now I am at the big farm of our second floor. Enjoying the scenic beauty with Johnny. Yes, she is just behind me. The green red leaves attract me. Our home is surrounded by greenery, green, green and green. The nature is so fading green. I went to take sour, had my lunch, thora gapsap, came back to resume studies. I studied with adverse effects of drugs. It is already 3.30 pm and I am feeling a bit sleepy. So I switched to productive mode. A ponderous session of 20 minutes will definitely keep me alive to continue my study. When we set a time limit for a few topics, our study speed 
gets enhanced. Whenever I feel low, I try the Pomodoro session. It works. You guys give it a try. You don't let you down and update me about your experiences in the comment section. While you do that, watch me study. 20 minutes Pomodoro session and 3 new pages of KGT is not a bad combo. Let's keep going. This Pomodoro session kept me alive. But if I continue sitting on my bed, no one can keep me alive. Now I don't dare to take risks. So I again added motion. Kuch nahi bro. Bas fir se chal chal ke parna start kiya. Dono taraf camera bhi fix kar diya. Taki chal ne mein koi dikkat na ho. Fir neet hata ke chair pe aake baith kiya. I continued reading the adverse drug effects. One more Pomodoro session. But I switched to a few YouTube videos for hypersensitivity reactions. While doing that, it is already 5 p.m. Now the sleep that I kept on ignoring has desensitized the receptors of my brain. I can't understand anymore. So I prefer to sleep for 30 to 40 minutes. Woke up at around 6 p.m. Ate some stuff and came back to resume studies. Yes, I resumed from the hypersensitivity reactions. After every video, I gave a thorough reading of that text. Type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. These are basically the allergic reactions, the anaphylactic reactions. Then type 2, the cytolytic reactions. Type 3, the retardant reactions. And type 4, the delayed hypersensitivity. I continued reading the rest of the chapter, Treatment of Drug Allergy and Testimonics. The culprit drugs causing allergic reactions in many patients are penicillin, cephalosporin, aspirin. I am feeling difficulty in understanding the concepts of phototoxicity and photoallergy. So I researched a bit about it and then again continued reading the book. Few terms like drug dependence, Drug addiction, reinforcement, drug habituations need to be clarified. Now, there are also the drug withdrawal reactions. I am on the verge of completion of the chapter. With the topics teratogenicity, carcinogenicity and mutagenicity, I am done with it. Now, I am going through the end chapter question to brush up my knowledge. Then I thought of reading the topics of pharmacokinetics once more. But it felt very boring and I tried something new. So let's start revising the review book of pharmacology by Dr. Govindson to get an overview of the previous chapters that I have already read. The systemic roots like the oral root, the sublingual root, the inhalation root, the rectal root or like the parenteral roots like the subcutaneous one, the inframuscular, infravenous and the intradermal roots. I read about all of them and then went for some revision of the pharmacokinetics like the plasma protein binding, the formulas to get a quick overview of everything that I had just ended reading this week. And then let's move to give the exam on general pharmacology. The exam went on pretty good. Then I took a break, refreshed myself and took my dinner, had lots of gupshups and then back to the pavilion. I continued cell injury, cell death and adaptation. I started with autophagy, a quick revision and writing lots of steps and then the mechanism of cell injury mitochondrial damage membrane damage damage to dna and detailed discussion about all the topics relating the beautiful diagrams of robins everything becomes easy peasy it's always a charm to read robins line by line and slowly internalizing the concepts of pathology. The cell injury basically elaborates the stops preceding the necrosis and apoptosis and other forms of cell death. 
the oxidative stress accumulation of reactive species of oxygen was my next topic and then i moved to adaptation skipping a bit of topics in between because i felt very boring now i am revising the hypertrophy the examples of hypertrophy pathological and physiological and then the mechanism and practicing the diagram then i moved to hyperplasia and treat about physiological and pathological examples of hyperplasia and then i suddenly remembered that i made a mistake in my exam regarding the clinical trials so i switched to a pdf of goodman and gilman to have a look at the tabular illustration so that i don't make any further mistake then i continued reading a bit of pathology once more it was the time i started feeling sleepy before sleeping we had a discussion about the rectum and the anal canal that mohakash would be discussing tomorrow in the tuition batch now it's time to bid good night if you like the video put a thumbs up and do let us know in the comment section about how you felt about it if you are new here subscribe to our channel take care tata bye bye